Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, we just got our first pretty hard frost of 2023. I'm out here checking out the tomatoes and cucumbers. They don't seem to have gotten too much damage, but it is time to start picking. So I've been pulling off all the ripe ones. As you can see here, I got a nice variety of different tomatoes. And if you follow me on my channel, you know that I also grow tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, variety of other things indoors all winter. One of my favorite tomatoes to grow outdoors is the sun gold cherry tomatoes. And I have, I think, three different plants here I've been picking off of. This one here I purchased in a greenhouse and it's not quite as uh, tall and um, like an indeterminate variety gets. So it's kind of more of a bush variety. So I'm kind of thinking that this would be maybe a good strand to try growing indoors because it won't get too big hopefully. So I am going to attempt to collect some seeds from some of these sun gold tomatoes. So first of all, I'm going to leave some of them on here on the vine to get nice and ripe. Then we're going to bring them indoors and I'll show you how I'm going to collect seeds from these tomatoes. Okay, so a couple more weeks have gone by and it is now mid-September here on the prairies and we still have not had a hard frost at night. So it's been a really long growing season for us compared to other years where sometimes it can be wiped out right at the end of August with the hard frost. So I've been leaving my tomatoes out in the vines and picking them daily as usual. So these sun gold tomatoes, which I've said before are my favorites, are getting super ripe. They're starting to split, and I think it's time to start collecting the seeds. So I'm gonna be using the fermentation method. It's a very popular method. There's lots of videos out there on how to do this. So I've just been kind of teaching myself how to do this. So we're starting by just pulling out the fleshy seeds out of the tomatoes. And as you can see, they have a lot of gel around them. They're very wet and the fermentation process will help us remove that gel from around these seeds, let us dry them out and hopefully be able to replant them. So I will be, if I have success getting some seeds out of here, I'll be trying to grow them indoors this winter and hopefully have some seed left over to plant again next year for my outdoor garden. So I got about four of them here. As you can see, there's quite a few seeds. And what I'm gonna use is my sprouting jar. You just need to add a little bit of extra water to it. I thought this would be good because it's got, a, got the mesh lid to let in some air. The only thing I'm concerned about is fruit flies, which seem to be running rampant in my house like they do every fall. No matter what I try, they still come into my house and <clears throat> invade all my fresh vegetables. So once you've got a good stash of uh, tomato seeds here, you can just scrape them right into the jar. So basically what's going to happen, these are going to ferment and rot, probably form some mold on them as well. And in a few days, we'll be ready to rinse them off and try to collect some seeds. Another method I'm gonna to try to uh, reproduce some more of these sun gold cherries is I've taken some cuttings off the tomato plant. I am going to root them in water and then set them up in a cracky hydroponic system. So stay tuned for that. That'll be another whole video of its own and hopefully we can get a jump start on some tomatoes indoors using this method. We are back now and it's been about eight days since I put these in water to ferment. It's been a little longer than probably necessary, but it's just been a busy week. And as you can see, maybe here there is a little bit of mold that has kind of formed on the top of the water. And as you can see here, all the seeds have sunk to the bottom, which is a good sign. So we're just gonna run them under some water, rinse them off, and hopefully all that gel layer that was around them is gone and they can be dried out. So 
you can see there's still some chunks of stuff in here. I just gotta have to try and separate them from the seeds, but I'm just gonna give everything a really good rinse here. And then we will spread it on some paper towel to dry out. So it might be a little bit hard to see on camera, but these seeds do appear to be free of that jellyless layer. I got some chunks here. I'm just gonna kind of put them to the side, spread these seeds out on the paper towel. Just put some of these back in that were kind of clumped up and just gonna Kind of work at them with my fingers here just to kind of separate them and break them some of that gel away that's still kind of stuck on them. So as you can see here it doesn't take much to get uh, you know a good supply of tomato seeds. I got a lot here that uh, you know will be more than enough to get me going this winter and then to start again next spring. So I will be sprouting some of these tomato seeds fairly soon, getting them set up in a hydroponic system in my uh, basement growing season that's going to be starting right away. So make sure you uh, stay tuned for those upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button. Please leave a comment. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. Thanks for watching.